understand yesterday by today's standards. Yeah. You have to bear in mind that each generation has its different needs. Yeah. And the reason that it was built that way and the community came together in those days was because the need was as such. Yeah. And because there weren't that many Muslims at the time. Yeah. And the few Muslims who got together and built that mosque, it was what we needed, an identity for us in this country. Yeah. And also, the mosque was not built just by Muslims, it was built by non-Muslims, because that is the spirit of this country, mm -hmm. to work together in unity. And we did work together in unity. If it wasn't for the help of so many Canadians, we wouldn't have that mosque. Yeah. Who bought our food? <laughs> the Muslims certainly didn't. <laughs> they made it at home. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. It's you know? true. Yeah. And uh, who helped us? And that's also particular too. The, the generation that built um, the Ottawa Muslim Association, it wasn't the doctors, lawyers, and engineers as much as it was the working class the working people class. who came in. The working class, and most of them worked for my husband. Yes. Because they worked in Ms. Westgate. Uh, they were laborers. I mean, they were cooks or dishwashers. So. But when my husband and Ms. Dr. Farid went door to door to ask for donations, they were the first ones to ask their sons daughters to go upstairs and get the money from the socks, <laughs> you know? Yeah. And yet, I mean, I don't like to say anything bad, but the truth is here. When they went to the professional professionals, they were told, not all of them, mind you, but they were told, come back in two weeks. My husband and daughter Farid were not beggars. Mm -hmm. They wanted everybody's contribution. Mm -hmm. And yet the laborer, the dishwasher, the cook who worked, 10, 12 hours in that sweating kitchen. They were ready, and because my husband knew how much they were paid. He mm -hmm. paid them, mm -hmm. but they give what they had, yeah. you know? Because they understood the importance of they it, understood. and they had less <coughs> options in many ways, yes, too. Yes, they understood their importance, and they had children. Mm -hmm. This was the future for their children. They mm -hmm. were not going to change from being Muslims. Mm -hmm. They were Muslims until they died, and mm -hmm. even in heaven they stayed Muslims. Yeah. <laughs> but they understood the need for their ch to pass it on to their children, to make sure that their children stayed in the community. Yeah. Of course, you can't predict how your children will develop and how what choices they're going to make, but we as parents, we did the best with what we knew, with what we had, and we the challenges that were given to us, we tried to meet them mm -hmm. within, uh, how should I say, together with the larger community. You know, mm -hmm. because there were only about two or three hundred people here. Yeah. You know, so, but these were this, this group that came together to build this mosque. It stayed together. We shared each other's milestones. Mm -hmm. We saw our children being born. We saw our children cutting their first teeth. <laughs> yeah. We had the birthday parties. We saw them get engaged. We saw them getting married. And they were giving gifts for grandchildren. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it became an extended family. Mm -hmm. And we were very diverse. It's not like we all came from Lebanon. Mind you, 99.9. <laughs> we're one village in Lebanon. <laughs> yes, one village in Lebanon. They decided the whole village was going to, uh, <laughs> you know, get out of there. <coughs> and, and my husband and I were the only Albanians in it. Mm -hmm. But it was so rich. Mm -hmm. Because in the process, we learn so much about each other. Yes. While we were united in religion, we were not of the same culture. Mm -hmm. So we learned so much from each other. Excellent. Excellent. This was very important.